One of the pioneers of the mobile telecoms industry in Africa, Strive Masiwa, who is also the founder and executive chairman of the Econet Group Always, has interesting insights to share via his Facebook page to help other people with the wealth of knowledge he has. To help people escape the poverty mindset. On February 27, 2022, the icon took to his page as he always does to talk about the power of words when it comes to manifestation. I quote, The power of your words by Strive Masiwa. One of you reminded me of a post I wrote here back in 2016, where I said that what you do after you have a great idea, is what becomes your legacy in life. That you'll go nowhere as an entrepreneur, if your plan to finally get down, and work on your dream is, one of these days. You must first believe in yourself, I wrote, and then commented, this whole topic is a subject for another day. There's much to be said about faith, and faith at work. Thank you to Jacqueline Adigo for reminding me of that post a few days ago, and for asking if I could write something more on the topic before I close the platform. In fact, that subject would take a lifetime of posts but let me flash back to the one she mentioned, to get us started for today. It's then over to you. Several years ago, long before Internet and Amazon, I was in London going from shop to shop looking for a Bible translation called the Living Bible. I just heard a sermon about the meaning of Matthew 12:35. a good man's speech reveals the rich treasures within him. An evil-hearted man is filled with venom, and his speech reveals it. The main message of that sermon, which I wrote down in my notes, was about the power of words. The most important part of your life is actually the ability to use words, the pastor said. Words define your life, words define your values. Words define your personality. You are no better than your words, you are no greater than your words. The character of your words is the character of your personality. Watch your words, he warned. Your life is the expression, the manifestation, the reflection, of your words. It does not take long to know who you are. All you have to do is talk for a few minutes, this is because your words locate you. Be a person of your word, and know its power, I commented back then. None of the teachings I've shared over the years will be sown in fertile soil if you do not guard your words. The words you speak and the ones you don't speak. Your silence can also speak volumes. It too can define you. The tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a forest is set on fire by a small spark. James 3 5, NIV. These days in our world, with the power of words shared on social media. You all know that one tweet or comment can spark not just deep hurt, but even a war, a deadly attack, or a tragic suicide. Guard your words. As my mentor Ambassador Andrew Young once said, and please join me in saying an early happy 90th birthday to him, I was raised that way, don't get mad, get smart. Most of us can't stop wars but we can tame our tongue. On this platform, I am so proud of the culture of mutual respect, tolerance, listening, curiosity and care you have grown to show for each other here as a community of entrepreneurs building Africa's century together. Of course, we've had some tough talks. You haven't always agreed with me or each other and aren't shy to say so. That is fine. But this platform shows we can disagree respectfully and constructively. With mindsets and spirits grounded in honesty and care for each other, whatever our differences of nationality, faith, background. If you are a person of faith like I am, and I will still respect you if you believe differently, this is just one example of faith at work. Together we have built a platform that's a shining example of using technology for the good, focused for 8 plus years on entrepreneurship, yes, but grounded in hope, love and also faith, for many of us. May God bless you, fill you with grace, courage and hope and keep you safe. One of these days is here. I believe in you. That's the end of his host. What do you think about what he had to say about the power of your words? Are you using your own words to build or destroy? Let's hear your comments at the bottom of the video. 
Please remember to subscribe to the channel to get more videos that can help you build a wealth mindset.